In this video, I'm going to be showing you trick shots that look as good as this, but require very little skill to play. This hey! is Break From Life. Trick shots like this look great, but they're incredibly hard to do. So, I thought I'd show you five shots that are incredibly simple to play and look just as good. And then, at the end, I'm going to show you how to play all five shots at once. So this is shot one. Very, very simple. Very simple shot. Roll the red down the table, swipe it into the centre. That's the shot. So simple. Shot two. This is a little more tricky, but still just as easy. But two reds, very, very close to each other. Cross the blue spot. You see they've left very little gap. Probably less gap than you think here is a good idea. Now, we're going to get the cue. And we're going to drop the cue right in the gap between those two reds. Now, important here is not to use the very top of the cue. It's to use it further down where it's wider and it'll push the reds apart more. So here we go. You just sit down on it fairly firm. And they both go in the centre like that. Shot three. Now, it gets a little bit harder for this one. We're just going to be dropping the white here onto these two reds and watch where they're going to go. The left one is going to go all the way along here and drop in the corner. Now you see we put a red there because they do, they do tend to go a bit wide, you can't control them perfectly so if it hits, if it goes anywhere near that red it's going to hit it and drop off the side of it. Same on the other side. You go too high, too low, whatever, it's going to go in whatever happens. So here we go. Now you're just going to have to pick the white up. Now you're going to have to push it down at a little bit of pace. But the main thing you don't want to do when you set this up is put it too, the balls too close to the cushion. So we've left a gap and then you can push them towards the cushion and they fly in like that. Now shot four, you need to know how to play a plant to be able to line these shots up. So this is a standard plant. Now what's going to happen when I play this is it's obviously going to miss. If I play it straight from behind here, hit it full, I'm going to miss on the left hand jaw. It's going to follow, go exactly where my cue is. Look at where the cue's going, right on the jaw there. Not even probably going to hit the jaw, it's going to hit the cushion. It's not going to go in. But we can still pop this if we come in at an angle from where my cue is. If we come in at an angle like that, hit the red fairly full from here, that is going to make this plant go into that corner. Let's, let's watch, see what happens. You've got to hit it firm, look at that, straight in. So that applies to this next shot. Now we've lined both shots up for the corner and this is all about lining it up. So the first thing you've got to do is make sure one plant is lined just to miss on the narrow side, that's the side closest to you, every single time so it's just not going to quite go in and then on the one on the right you've got to make sure these are all lined up and they're all touching it's not very easy to line them up it's easy when you get them right just hit it full now you can just hit it full as hard as you want right in the center and they won't miss look at that straight in just smash them apart right now shot five is exactly the same shot but it's a lot harder for some reason because the balls are going at a thinner angle so you've got to allow a bit more to line it up and also it's into the middles it's exactly the same shot as the previous one you've got to line it up just to be miss on the narrow side but you've got to allow a little bit more because it's a bit thinner this is a lot harder to line up and because it's in the middle it makes it more difficult as well make sure they're all touching all lined up and let's see how well we've done this when we play the shot it's just important to not play this one too hard otherwise they will jump out in the middles so let's see how how well we've done this just playing it yeah and i 
didn't line the left one up right. This one can be a little bit frustrating, just gotta make sure it's right, otherwise this happens and it comes back off the jaw. So make sure that's right and you've done it. Now, and then you can attempt this. All five shots at once. Now, as you see, we've got all five shots on the table and we're gonna play them all in one go. You've got the three reds, two to make in the corners, the two to hit with the cue in the middle. You've got the three there to play in the middle. The third of those reds we're gonna play with like the first shot with the cue into the center. And then we've got these two reds by the cushion that we're gonna drop the white on top of. Now, they're all gonna end up in the right positions if you do the right things. So the first thing we're gonna do is play into these three reds from where the white is now. That red's gonna go in the center, that one's gonna go there, and it, we're gonna knock it in with the cue. Right, then, at the same time as we're doing that, we're gonna just gently draw the cue ball back to about where it is now, so we can pick it up and drop it on the reds. You don't wanna play it too hard, now there's both those shots, you want them to be able to knock them point the red in the center with the cue, or the white will come back too far. Then we can splat these two reds, knocking one in each center, and that'll leave us the white there to play this final shot into these two corners. So there it is, it looks a lot better than the shots I was doing at the start, even though it's a lot easier and hardly anything can go wrong. So give it a go, I'd love to see you try it, and um, we'll be back with some more shots for you to try and more easy skills. If you want to learn more about how to play the game, try these two videos, and hit subscribe if you want more easy trick shots that anybody can do. Thanks for watching everybody.